All right. Here we go. Mike versus Quigs. Who Looks are you like doing, uh, the early advantage to between Mike as Luke and Quigs as Vader? Uh, I'm going to give it to Mike just because he's more active and also probably like him and Will are like the top players at the moment. Quigs definitely can pull this off though, especially as Vader. Yeah. What do you think? I know that Quigs recently was on with Wolf, I believe, doing some Vader combat, so I know he's a little bit less rusty, but I too would give the early advantage to Michael. Because he's just like you said, one of the better players in this game. Mm -hmm. So we have them oh. filling right now. We have uh... Oh, Quig's uh, stopped Mike's backslash with his own, at least to avoid getting tumbled, and then got a good null on him. So that's a good start. Yeah, the Luke needs to watch out in this matchup because, you know, those faders are going to be expecting uh, intercept punishment, but... Yeah, for sure. Luke, in that Luke's case, biggest uh, weakness is hitboxes. It looked like uh, Quake's got sparks on that dash. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, it's... For, for starting off, it's a good showing from both. I mean, pretty even. Quigs is, like, not too far off when he does miss, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, like, just what you just said, Quigs went for a dash, like, kind of, like, stabilized himself with a backslash there, and then capitalized to get the kill. Now, will Quigs recognize that Mike's pulled that tactic a few times and maybe Mike's going to try something along the lines like that again? Mm. This is an interesting spot for the Mike. Wow. Goes right up there and it looks like he's going to get this kill on Quigs. Yeah. Nice job. Definitely took some damage from that though. Now, was that a backslash or was that a dash? Because it looked like a backslash where I was from. Yeah, he, he backslashed Quig's dash. Nah. Now, so, that tactic won't work again because Spike will die if he. Like, should be at only one third health. Mm hmm. Nah. It, and Quig's cleans it up. And it is kind of interesting because, like, Quigs was in the small corner where, like, Vader's combo range is deceptively large and Mike still challenged it. But it could just be, you know, like, getting into the groove of things. Sometimes you gotta get smacked around a little bit to remember. <laughs> oh, that was really good. It, it, it hit, didn't it? Yeah, that definitely hit. Was... Man. Pretty good coverage, and looks like Mike's trying to. No. Nope. Yeah, it looks like Quigs is content to just let Mike pursue him, and Mike is content to chase Quigs. Yeah, Mike and Klungo have a lot of similarities in their looks. Uh, I know Wolf was saying that it's like deceptively aggressive, and that's what Mike's being right now. Like he's being very forthcoming with these attacks. But it's very, you know, if you don't get that very specific punch, Mike's just gonna clobber you. Mm -hmm. And that's what people yep. like Mike and Klungo are so good at this game, is that like, you think that they're attacking you when really they're just waiting for you to mess up. Yeah, Mike's just uh, chipping them down right here. Quig's trying to get a null of some sort. Uh, Mike is like waited out his combo perfectly there. It looks like Mike's heating up and Quig's is uh, starting to get a little overwhelmed. Yeah, it's very hard to. Ah. <laughs> there it is, the raw Quig's dash. Same time. 
And that right there is what we call exactly the reason for this tournament. He just started and he chose violence. <laughs> Uh, the loot versus Vader is interesting for this tournament because it's very hard for the Vader to make it through a whole round with at least some chip damage because that loot's going to be looking for any opportunity to come in. Right. Maybe mixing some more just C1s instead of full combos might help because Mike is dashing in quick space a lot. But yeah, I'm still noticing a lot of backslash from Mike's part, which is honestly a really good counter for the Quigs attempting to just null that dash attack coming in from Mike. And I still think that Quigs could definitely still pull this out. He's just got to adjust for his sure. style a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is still risky on the Luke's part because... Say he does the run up backslash and just misspaces it a little bit, and Quakes can just dash him. Yeah. A five to three. Definitely still anyone's game here. That was a fake, it looked like. So he had no cooldown after that aerial, or maybe he just has some new, like, ramp tick. Ah, uh, gets him again. Interesting to see if this does end in Mike's favor, who Quakes will decide to play as. There it is again. He's just got the yeah, he's perfect just... backslash. Well, yeah, he's waiting for Quakes to, you know, do a backslash, do a combo, you know, I'm gonna stop this Luke from throwing out his, you know, option. And then the Luke just comes in, quick backslash, and then gets the finish. Yes, for sure. He's all in his face. Definitely can be a... Uh, I mean, I don't play Vader too much, but... With the Luke just all around you, it kind of feels like you're... You don't want to go for a dash because you know if you miss, it's probably it for you. No, that's definitely true. The, the Luke versus Vader is it's an interesting one. Because on the mm -hmm. one as Vader, you want to stay like stable, you want to be ready to punish, and on the other hand, that Luke's just charging around you, just waiting. Uh, yep, and traded again, and works out in Mike's favor. 4-0 first match. See where Quicks decides to go. Arena. That's what I was gonna think he's gonna pick. Mike's gonna pick Maul. Now we'll play a Vader. Yep. Maul Vader Arena. What do you think about flat ground Maul versus Vader? Now this is definitely Quigs is like bread and butter. Is flat ground in general, and then Vader in general. So Quigs is definitely staying where he's comfortable at. And Mike is definitely staying where, you know, objectively, it's a little bit of an advantage towards Maul in this. But mm -hmm. still definitely capable to be won by either character. It'll be interesting to see if Mike plays Maul much the same way he plays Luke. They they are they definitely can be played the same, both with, you know, dash a lot of dashes and then mixing in good backslashes. Uh on the Vader side of things. It could be hard because of the lack of ramps here, as like Vader one of Vader's best like escape options. So True, but this is definitely where Quigs, I feel, feels the most comfortable. Not just, not in arena, but in terms of just flat ground. Right. Well, yeah, he's had tons of experience in flat ground. Especially being in a 
SA for so long, which at first was a, a big dueling clan. Yeah, and I'm sure as a Vader, I'm not going to say a Vader meme, because I know he played a lot of Mace back in the day, but as someone that really stresses Vader a lot, he probably has a lot of experience playing against Mauls. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's not an experience thing at all. He's got it in every department. It's just going to be who comes out on top. I love going up there as a mall. They're both definitely just filling each other out right now. I mean, I'm seeing some some punishes by Mike, but it feels like they're really just getting each other's measure by going around each other, you know, watching and see what the other one does, and then when Quiggs, like, steps out of not safety, but just something a little bit unsafe, Mike's just right there, ready. Yeah. Mike just has to bait out a dash from Quiggs, and that could be the life. On Quiggs, and it looks like he has to do a much riskier... Interesting strategy by Quig spawning outside of the barrier. Uh, that's that's illegal, sir. You know, Mike will never see this coming. He got that rare one in point zero 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 one spawn point. Yeah, I know when me and Wolf first uh, tested this map out, we kept spawning only, like, on the arena floor itself, which was definitely uh, an interesting one. But there goes Quiggs, he's, he's starting it up, he's ready to get a dash in, get a kill in, and he's ready to get started over here. Yeah, now that he's got his hacks up and running, it's already paying dividends. Oh, that was good spacing for Mike to avoid the backslash, but Quake stumbles him with this combo. Quite Mike was probably getting ready for another backslash, and that little movement backwards knocked him over. Yeah. I would go for a real here, but I know that's not a good idea. Interesting uh, stuff by Necroid going for an aerial. No one would ever think it. I see, I, I see Quigs trying to catch Mike on some bad spacing, but if you throw out a combo like that, the mall is gonna just jump in and up. Oh, there we go. Always ready for the aerial, though. Yeah, he, you know. It was an interesting surprise attack, but Vader just has way too much of a push in that dash. Yep, and it looks Quig like he catches him at the very end of that dash. You Quigs was already damaged, I believe, from the aerial. Yeah. Oh, he anti falls uh, the dash. I hate to see it. I'm. I saw sparks on the dash. Uh, oh. Well. Yeah, anti-falling a uh, Vader dash is, uh, it's an interesting strategy, and one that rarely works, but when it does, it feels really good. Mm-hmm. Quiggs pulls off two quick ones here. Yeah, I'm sure Mike was expecting a different choice of option from Quiggs, but running up and backslashing, it can definitely work if you're not expecting it. Like with a really fast aerial. And he sends him into the unknown. Where Quiggs belongs outside of the boundary. I like how most of the fight has been on the roof of the arena and not in the arena itself. Yeah, this shows what I know for saying that this was going to be all flat ground, but. Definitely less ramps here, and again, Mike just really getting in there as soon as he sees any sort of opportunity to hop in. For sure. Because really, 
unless I'm mistaken, everything Bayer does at least has some sort of cooldown, and that really is the only thing Maul needs to do anything in life, is just any opportunity. Yeah, Mike just getting in freely almost whenever he wants, and not much Quigs can do to keep him out of his uh, space. But definitely still not over yet. I see. Ah, never mind. <laughs> I, How I, it is? <laughs> I pulled a deck right door and just scream, "Hey, are you all right?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see where Quigs decides to go here. Back to east. Definitely still not over. We'll see. Uh, Mike going back to Luke. Quigs. Yep. Later. Live and die by the Vader. I respect it. But the, uh, let me see here. The first actual round was what? 3 0 by the end of it or 4 0? 4 0. Victory is ours. But uh, definitely, like we saw in that first one, there was opportunities where Quigs just got sparks or, you know, just there's just minor changes that really could cause an upset here. Well, not an upset because both players still definitely can win. But definitely a chance for Quigs to win this. Yeah, not out of it by any means. Quigs just... Uh, I would say challenge Mike more, but it's tough because... Quigs, Mike is so good at punishing missed attacks and being Vader, you know, Quigs either has to roll after attack or hope for an anti-fall. Mike is usually going to punish any miss with a backslash. Yeah. Ah. Oh, right there, you got him with the front null. Uh, that's, that's rough. Whenever anyone goes on that roof right there, I am willing to let them stay there till the end of time. I do not trust that roof. <laughs> that little one? Connected to the center square? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll challenge it, but I understand why you say that. Anti falls that, but the backslash again, coming in, getting him. Yeah, maybe... Quigs was low and just went for an aerial to throw something out there, but uh, definitely Mike goes in there and punishes it as we've seen this match. Just uh, going in for a backslash and going in for that kill. Uh, nice use of the box to make Quigs miss and just finishes him off with the mesh. Yeah, a little bit of cheeky spacing going on on Mike's part there. Yeah. Love to see the uh, box being used. I've used it a lot myself versus Vader's, and it's pretty good. Nice raw dash from Quigs. As Wolf says, Quigs does tries to do that at least once per match, where he just runs at the person and is like, "Hello, this is a Vader dash." Please accept it. Yep, he's punching his in his free kill card. Oh, Mike reads the dash away from Quigs. Yeah, he's really doing a good job of denying Quigs the space that he needs. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's rough because most sometimes on my screen, even though he misses, I see the lightsaber just go right through Mike, so that's gotta be a little at least a little bit frustrating. Especially as Vader. Yeah, but that's honestly one of the trade offs is that you wanna be close to the Vader, you wanna be ready to punish that, so things are either going to be close or they're gonna kill you. Yeah. And I may killed you. He wouldn't I mean, this is just how the matchup goes when played correctly yeah. on the Luke's end. And even there, like, risk that was a, a big risky aerial, but Quig's selecting not to punish it. It's just interesting. 
And he reads him again with that, uh, that dash. I feel like Quigs needs to stand his ground a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, I'm not so, obviously, you know, you know me, so I, I never, uh, tell people to stand in one place. But, uh, definitely in the Luke matchup, you know Mike's probably will go for a backslash against a, just a purely stationary person, but he gets a, he gets a combo there out of the air and knocks him to the ground. Not necessarily saying he has to stay in one place, but just yeah. like the dashes away is what's giving Mike a lot of kills. Like right there, it looks like Mike was reading, reading it again, and Quig's got away, but still got picked up by the backslash. Instead, maybe like some more like backpedaling or using some back knolls. Obviously, there's no like one one thing to fix everything because Mike is still a great player and can adapt him as well as Quake's game. Yeah, Mike's doing a good job of getting those backslashes in and really just punishing. I'm not sure if like Luke's backslash would. I'm sure it would because I know Sith backslash isn't really. It's looked down on as really a weak backslash, but so I'm not sure if that would win every fight between the two backslashes. Yeah, when it comes to like hitbox knowledge and things like that, I defer to the experts. But uh, I'm pretty sure like Big's combo. Will, will outrange Mike's backslash unless it's like perfectly placed. And like right there, that you have to hit those. Yeah. Like basically, right now, Mike has no fear of quakes, and it's, it's dangerous fighting somebody like that if you're not hitting your uh, punishes. Yeah, but what I'm seeing is Mike is actually putting these really risky aerials in places where it's easy for him to get away. Which again, just goes back into the whole, he's acting very, uh, very aggressive, but I, I don't think the aggression is there. Like I'm seeing aerials, you know, close Like he's just trying to beat him. Yeah. Cause really that's the only thing that's the only thing, you know, Mike needs. He just needs any sort of opening at all, and then... You just go in there and you do your job. This is, a uh, last life for Quigs. And he won't be knocked out of the tournament if he does lose. But still putting up a good fight. He'll be 4-1 now. I think he might have taken some damage there. That I'm not sure, but I will take your word for it, sir. My eyes can't wait for this to be over just because of the player cams and <laughs> they're going everywhere. <laughs> Mike is definitely worse than Quigs in that respect. Yeah, and even Quigs isn't like the easiest one to watch. Oh. Uh, Looks like he was trying to read Ariel. Well played from both and GG's. Yes, good game on both sides. Uh. So now it'll be Quigs versus Strex.